But thank you. New developments tonight in the search for a missing 12 year old boy with autism. His mother desperate for answers after an extensive two day mission to find him. And tonight, dogs followed a scent about four miles downriver from where Kyron Carter was last seen. So we called in uh, a dive team, the sonar um, hit, and they hit on a good location that they thought it was, uh, um, they thought it you know, could consistently be a body. So um, they searched that area. We sent uh, two different dive teams in, um, and it came back um, that it was not. And again, the boy went missing on Saturday in northwest Indiana. Anthony Ponce is live in Hammond with more. Anthony. Yeah, that update we just heard from was uh, only about uh, 15 minutes ago. Uh, but here in Hammond, the search continues after Saturday. 12-year-old Kieran Carter, he vanished from this Best Western. We're in the back parking lot right now, and police say it was Saturday when he ran out this back door. Tonight, the search continues with a lot of Hammond residents showing up here in four-wheelers on foot uh, to comb the area and help police officers who will continue the search on foot throughout the night and then resume uh, the search in the water uh, sometime tomorrow morning. But uh, Hammond PD saying they are remaining optimistic here. I just want them to make it back home in one piece. That's all I want. Another agonizing day for the mother of 12 year old Kyron Carter, who walked out of the back door of the Best Western in Hammond after a family member who'd been with him on Saturday fell asleep. He's the only child. He's my only child. Surveillance footage shows the five foot four inch, 130 pound Kyron leaving the hotel wearing a light blue shirt, dark blue shorts with a light blue stripe. He left the hotel without shoes on, headed toward the Little Calumet River. Over the last two days, search crews have focused their efforts in the water and a four mile radius surrounding the hotel. We're, we're telling everybody is just not to um, not to approach him. Okay, if they see him, just call 911 immediately and uh, let law enforcement do that. And we'll bring the mom and let do it because they, they really feel that the mom is the only one that's going to get him to, to come. Police worry that Kyron, again, without shoes and in shorts the last two days, is in extreme danger and may require medical assistance. If anybody happens to see him, just let him know he has his chicken nuggets and his Oreo cookies. He calls them black cookies. We're just going to keep searching until our, you know, all our options are exhausted. A couple other messages from police tonight. If you do see Kyron, you're asked not to yell at him. His mom says that might scare him away. You just has to uh, calmly call police, who will then contact uh, Kyron's mother uh, to go and hopefully get him. No foul play is uh, is expected in this situation. Again, as I mentioned, uh, the search on land will continue throughout the night. They'll pick up the search in the water in the morning. In the meantime, if you do see the boy, you are asked to call Hammond Police Department. The number they are giving out tonight is 219-660-0000. We are live in Hammond tonight. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 News.